the things you noted was just each one of these sort of digital products and launches has led in some way to the next one yeah. and how much trust our partners either on the distribution side or on the content side, the trust they have in our larger team here at ESPN and across Disney uh, has made all of that possible, right? The earliest conversations around ESPN Plus were really based on like tape glue and a lot of trust in what the team at ESPN could do and could offer. Um, and, and it's paying off. Frankly, those weren't easy. No. You know, but we mentioned ESPN3 before. ESPN3 was effectively ubiquitous from a distribution perspective, and our partners that were on ESPN3 were enjoying that that full sort of distribution, which content partners you know highly value. And we asked a lot of these content partners, to your point, Emily, to trust us. We have this new thing, this new business initiative. I think at some of these points, it wasn't even called ESPN Plus yet. It was nope. nothing. Um, it was this direct consumer thing and asking them to get on board and uh, and here we are today where you know uh, our doors are effectively being you know knocked down with content partners wanting to be part of what we're what we're doing which is you know fabulous sort of um, recognition right to all the great work that that has been done throughout Disney and uh, and ESPN and the folks that have been involved to get us to this point